Well, here we are with Black Rose. It's a blast from the past, but according to some of you, uh, they've gone ahead and added some things into it. And uh, I'm definitely not scared to do this. I certainly haven't been putting it off for about a week or two. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get started. Attention, this game contains flashing lights, quick time events, and jump scares. Oh, good. All right, your score will be based on close calls. That's a little loud. Close calls are achieved by getting close to the enemy without letting them catch you. When your score starts increasing, the enemy is dangerously close. Try to get as many close calls as possible to bring up your score, but be aware that you should not let your close calls with the first enemy last for too long. This enemy is particularly volatile and will quickly catch you if you are close for too long. Oh boy, keyboard and mouse, uh, WASD, shift to run, left click, interact, tab to pause, hold space to ram doors that are jammed. Okay, all right, well, I'm nervous already. Okay, well, I got news for the game. I don't care about my score. I'm just trying to live, so if you guys are looking for the highest score, might might want to look elsewhere, because I'm, I'm making a beeline to the exit. All right. Timed mode, story mode. Okay, in timed mode, you're being timed on how quickly you finish the game. Your final score will be based on your close calls, with your finish time acting as bonus. Faster times result in bigger bonuses. This mode does not focus on the story of Black Rose and is therefore much shorter than story mode. There are no checkpoints in this mode, so game over is final. If you are a first time player, it is recommended that you play in finished timed mode first. This will help you get a feel for the game before playing the more challenging story mode. Are you kidding? In this mode, you follow the investigation of a mortician who worked at a funeral home many years ago, before an unknown disaster killed all the employees. Unlike timed mode, this mode focuses on the story of Black Rose and is therefore much longer. Your final score will be based on your close calls only, as you are not being timed. This mode features a checkpoint system, and will remember your previous checkpoint even if the game has been closed. Note: Please do not close the game when you see it saving. Okay, well, I really, the only reason I'm playing this is to, to experience story mode. And again, I'm not trying to get the highest score or beat it fastest. I'm just trying to live. So uh, we're going to go with story mode. Maybe that's a bad idea, but uh, yeah, at least I get checkpoints, right? Let's turn that down just a little bit more, right? Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Restricted. Okay, that's just straight up not working. Was that there? Pain and suffering has warped their bodies. Oh, okay. I played the first game and I remember just not to look at her. Right? Oh man, oh man. Maybe, ah! Oh, no, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright, this is cool. This is fine. Is someone else here? Okay, maybe the monster isn't active yet. Just empty. Just all these empty rooms. I hate that. E <gasps> what is that? Okay, I thought I saw something. It's fine. We're fine. Hello? Oh, boss says not to go near Myrtle's coffin. Why won't the gravedigger bury it anyway? It's not like what boss says is true. I mean, the dead can't really talk. Can they? Okay, that was in the first game. I remember that. The name Myrtle. It's jammed, but I might be able to force it open. I would need to ram it a couple times. Press and hold space. Okay. We're fine. There's a baby monitor here. Strange. Oh, no. What was the point? The music's changing. Uh-oh. Who was that? 
All right, something unlocked. Okay, time to go. Front door, please. What is that? Oh, I guess that's for a lock, right? I didn't really explore downstairs much, did I? I don't remember. Okay, okay, we're cool. Visitation room. I guess they were pretty serious about keeping this door shut. I wonder if the keys are around here somewhere. Okay, there's two locks. It said first enemy, so there's gonna be more than one. Have the keys been around and I just haven't found them? So far I haven't run into anything. It must be scripted is what I'm thinking. As soon as I perform a certain action, she's gonna come out. Family room. The stores work pretty badly. I don't think I'd be able to get it open. Chapel. Well, where am I supposed to go? Ugh. Those posts, they look like someone's standing there. Alright, Myrtle, I'd love to go downstairs, but... No, I wouldn't. Uh, but I don't think I can. Let's just jump out the window. Was there anything else over here? Oh. No, it was locked, that's right. Okay, well, I'm not quite sure... Let's try the other way. There's gotta be something I'm missing. Okay, so I can't just ram whatever door I feel. It, it has to prompt me. Yeah, can't. Okay, let's try this stairwell. Maybe it goes somewhere else? Oh, I heard a door unlock, so dummy, I should be checking the ones that didn't unlock before. Oh, I don't wanna go down there. Okay. Okay. I don't want to be here. Which way, which way? Let's try this way. This is a maze. I need to work real hard at not getting lost. This looks and feels a lot like the book I'm reading right now for the channel. It hasn't been uploaded yet, though. It's a work in progress, so look forward to it, if that's your thing. We are accepting artwork for it, though. Ah, uh, her eyes. Don't look at her. Don't look her in the eyes. That's from the first game. The other baby, baby, baby monitor is down here. This is weird. I'm not sure I want to be here anymore. Something feels war wrong. I can talk. It's cool. Okay, time to go. We're gone. All right, dead end, dead end. No point going that way or that way. Yeah, all right, it all just connects. That's cool. Nah. That's cool. I gotta go. I gotta go. Sorry, Myrtle. Listen. What's going on? How's this door locked? It wasn't earlier. Okay, that's cool. It's fine. We'll just... Ah! Uh, how did that get me? I think this is exactly the same as the one I played that time. Okay. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. How is it locked? Okay, uh, am I supposed to be ramming these? Uh... Okay, okay, what do I do? What do I do? Alright, let's just try a bunch of different doors, right? Okay, that's no good. Okay. Alright. What am I supposed to do if the doors are just locked? Can I ram it? No, I can't. Great. No keys in here? Great. All right, I'm afraid to look up. I can't even interact with you. Okay, okay, it's fine, we'll try the chapel. Oh, chapel's open. Oh, great, that's fun, that's fun. There's probably something in here I need. That's locked, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, what about you, what about you? No, no, nothing, nothing? All right, she's definitely in here. She's gotta be in here, but I'm not interested. Ah, uh, I get the feeling there's something I need in that room, but I can't. Uh, I'm gonna trap myself. Is she gonna go away, or is... Oh, she's gonna catch me on that corner, isn't she? 
It's fine, it's fine. Guess I'm going back in the chapel. Okay, it's cool, it's cool. Okay, what do I need in here? That de uh, the chest is locked. Oh, it's just a flower vase. Uh, they stitched him back together? Cool. Great. Good for him. Uh, I'm stuck. Okay, maybe it's on a chair. There's gotta be something in here, right? Anything? Oh, come on. I need a key for the chest. Okay. Okay, my score is four, which means I had a close call. Don't want to hear about that. I don't think I'll be able to get it open. Come on. Are you still locked? Okay. All right, all right, all right. Ah, uh, maybe that other door is open. I can't remember if I checked or not. Nope, still closed. That's cool. Maybe there's... Maybe I have to go back into the crypt, or the morgue, or the burial chamber, whatever it's called. I gotta go back down there, don't I? That's fine, that's fine. I mean, they wouldn't make it this large if I didn't need to use it, right? Okay, we're gonna go the long way. There's gotta be something in her coffin. I mean, if she's out and about... Dead end. Shoot. Ah, shoot. Shoot. Oh, man. Wait. Uh... Let's try this way? Uh, okay, that's definitely wrong. Alright, this way, this way. And then a left. Okay. Shiny gold key. Alright, that must be for the chest. Uh-oh. Alright, to the chapel, to the chapel. Open up the chest. Get out of here! She spawned right on top of me, did you see that? Not cool! Can I not open this? That's fine. I wasn't interested anyway, I'm gonna use this on the front door then. Can I not? No? Okay, that, that's fine, that's cool. Didn't want it anyway. What is this key for? Okay. Ah. Uh, hate. What is the key for? Maybe I couldn't open up the chest because she was there. We'll use the key. Is that not what it's for? Warped. Okay. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll try the chapel one more time. Oh, thank you. The only way to keep Myrtle in her coffin for good is to lock it. I thought I had locked it before, but someone else must have unlocked it. Either that or the lid was forced open. The key in here, it's labeled Myrtle. Okay, Myrtle's key, that's cool. All right, Myrtle, you're, you're going back in your box. I hate to say it, but you're, uh, you're bugging me. Okay, back into the crypt. It loops, so it shouldn't be too hard. Is she in there? I should probably do what the note said. I need to lock this thing. A silver key fell from inside the coffin. It's labeled V Room 1. Visitation room? Gotta be. Alright. Yeah, not a fan. She's, uh... She's not happy. Alright, alright. Well, you know, I guess I'm going to the visitation room, or should I... It's jammed! Well, open it! Okay. All right, what does this say? Good time to read a note, right? Uh, let me get some water. Hold on. Okay, I'm not asking you to speak to me, but I made something for you today. At first, I thought about going out and picking you the prettiest flowers I could find, but decided not to. Flowers are beautiful, but eventually they all die. Instead, I made you an origami rose. Paper will never wither, just like my love for you. This rose is black because the love we once shared is gone. 
It was lost in the darkness, and there's no ignoring that. However, even if this love is no longer mutual, there's still one side that will never die. This rose is our symbol. Oh, cool. Angsty. Nice. What the heck? This isn't... Like some futuristic spaceship. This is a funeral home. Visitation room. Visitation room. Which room was that? I don't remember. Visitation room. Family room? No. Did I ever actually see a visiting room? I don't remember. Ah. Okay, what are the doors locked? Alright, this is new. I'm pretty sure I got out that last time. Here it is. Ever since oh. my first day working oh, great. here, I felt a little strange. Now, after what happened that day, things seem to be getting even stranger. I'd even go so far as to say creepy. I've been an embalmer for years now, and I'm very passionate about my job. I've always felt comfortable with what I do, so it's pretty unusual that I feel this way. Two of my colleagues have died. I had to embalm them both. However, grief can't explain this feeling. Up until just four days ago, I hadn't even known about the history of this funeral home. I already knew that it was ridiculously old, but what I didn't know was that it allegedly harbors some kind of powerful aura which traps and torments the spirits of people who have died in a state of grief or fear and have at some point been associated with the building in one way or another. These associations apparently include those occurring post-mortem, such as embalmings and funerals. Oh, great, great. That's fine, that's cool. Whatever, you know? Are you kidding? What's going on? Don't care, don't care. I'm going the other way. I don't know the rules for this new ghost. Fa. Alright, where am I going? I don't have anything to go off of right now. Front door? Worth a try. Oh man, I don't want to get trapped here. Well, time to just try all the other doors, I guess, yeah? And there's probably a checkpoint, so I guess I feel better. Hello? You're new. Mrs. Rains, please tell your son to stop playing under the tables during funeral services. It's disruptive and upsetting to the grieving families. Today he also stole one of the keys to the visitation room and was later attempting to open one of the drawers in the morgue. This type of behavior is unacceptable and will not be tolerated. If you do not start controlling him, I will take it upon myself to personally teach him a lesson. Michael, yeesh! Where's that key, then? So some kid had it. He was playing under tables, that's right. Where was he? Okay. To make things even weirder, this place has a serious lockdown system. Yesterday was the first time I've ever seen it used, and many of the workers, including myself, were ordered to wait in the family room until the situation was taken care of. No one I've spoken to about it knows why it was done, or at least they won't say. All I know is that these safety glass windows and electronic gates appear to be designed for keeping things in rather than out. I was the first responder that day. I was the first and only person to make it to Myrtle's side before she passed away. She managed to give Sullivan a parting I love you on that baby monitor, but... That was the last communication they ever had. The last thing she ever did was give me that piece of paper. It was a short poem she had written for Sullivan earlier that day. She asked me to give it to him, and I promised her I would. Then she slipped away. I guess Sullivan had picked up by Myrtle's weak rasping in the baby monitor that something was happening to her, because soon after she had passed, he came running into the hall from the upstairs arrangement room. But 
he was too late. She was gone. That's when he broke down. I'd never seen him show so much emotion towards Myrtle before. Then, of course, the rest happened. I'll keep my promise, even now. It's all I can do for my dear friends. Saving. Anything? Okay, the kid was playing under tables. I just need to look under tables. Wait. There are a lot of strange things I've seen around this place. For instance, the fireplace that isn't even a real fireplace. It's some kind of ladder shaft, but there's a tough metal grate fastened over it that appears to be controlled electronically, most likely by the lockdown system. I'm assuming the shaft leads down to the basement, but it must have been sealed off because it's not accessible from anywhere down there. Another thing I've started wondering about is a metal handle that's been sitting on Michael's desk for about a month now. I asked about it once out of curiosity, but he avoided giving me a direct answer. He told me it broke off of something. I had already assumed this, seeing as it's covered in dirt and rusted around the edges where it had clearly been attached to something for a very long time. Perhaps the biggest mystery I've encountered here is the place Myrtle always went for privacy. She was often depressed, so she was always going into the downstairs hall on her way to wherever it was she went to be alone. However, she seemed to vanish. The only place she could have gone from that hallway is down into the basement, but I went down there one day to ask her something and I couldn't find her. I'm wondering if there's a secret room somewhere down there. After all, I did learn from Michael that this building is from the 1600s, long before it was ever a funeral home. Buildings as old as this one sometimes have quite a few secret areas. Okay, so the kid that plays under tables, possible key for the visitation room, the fireplace has a ladder, and uh, there was a handle for something old on Michael's desk, and so she was always going into the downstairs hall on her way to wherever it was she went to be alone. Okay, okay. Oh, that's a lot. That's a whole lot, and I don't even know how this new ghost works. They still haven't buried them. Sullivan has been lying in his coffin now for two days, and Myrtle for three. Because Conrad refused to touch Myrtle's coffin after her funeral, it had to be put aside so Sullivan could have his. Conrad still simply doesn't want to have anything to do with the burial of either of them, even if all he's doing is preparing a future grave without actually touching the coffins. I'm starting to wonder if he had some type of unpleasant encounter with Myrtle and Sullivan's coffins, or he heard some absurd rumor about their corpses. What's sad is that Myrtle and Sullivan don't have relatives who care enough about their burials to actually do something about this. Michael was embarrassed to have to tell all the relatives and friends that the actual burials couldn't be held yet. Even so, none of them objected. Maybe they just didn't see a point in doing so, considering the person they would be doing it for is already gone. I don't know. As far as feeling nervous around coffins, I do get a strange vibe now in the visitation room. The atmosphere in there is starting to feel different. The air feels heavier, a little bit oppressive even. It seems to be more noticeable today than it was yesterday. I'm not quite sure if I believe in ghosts or not, but it seems to fit what I've heard before about locations having uncomfortable negative energy due to evil or extremely upset spirits. Maybe it's just normal stuffy air. There aren't any windows in there, and it is the middle of summer. Okay, you know what? We're about 25 minutes in. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right here. I'm gonna keep playing in one sitting, but, uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, I'll go ahead and just uh, separate them into two videos, or maybe more, depending on how long this game is. It's already longer than I remember, because in, in the original that I played, I think you were just supposed to book it outside as soon as uh, Myrtle started doing her thing. Alright, well, in that case, I'll see you guys in the next episode, and wish me luck.